When it comes to building the best of anything that is technologically advanced, Japan is the first country that pops into our mind. Japan has always been known for its technological brilliance. Apart from its beautiful islands and hot springs, it is the world's most illiterate and technologically advanced nation believed to be making products that are inconceivable and can blow your mind. And recently, they have announced their latest female robots. But what are these female robots capable of? How are these female humanoid robots different from the ones already in use? Where are these robots? Should this be a caution to humanity? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Japan has never failed to amuse its audience with any kind of product they have come up with. They have the most creative minds in the world, and their technical products are so awesome that the country has literally been called a technological hub. Even though robots are now commonly used in industries and big companies worldwide, the use of robots instead of humans still blows the mind of people. But even though the tiny human brain might not seem to be taking this fact in, we have to understand that the future is here. With that being said, let's talk about what you came here for. Let's begin with our first candidate. Number 1. We have a robot that goes by the name of Sophia, one of the most advanced humanoid robots created by Hanson Robotics. The robot is a well-built combination of science, engineering, and artistry. That is literally the example of how the future of artificial intelligence and robotics looks like. The robot is capable of capturing the imagination of global audiences and is also the world's first robot citizen and the first robot ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. The robot has made a number of appearances in TV shows and popular series, including The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain. In addition to this, the robot has also been reported to be speaking at a number of conferences around the world. Currently, the robot is being used as a piece of research of the Loving Artificial Intelligence project which seeks to understand how robots can adapt to users' needs through intra- and interpersonal development. This is the world's first robot capable of displaying human-like expressions and interacting with people. The main reason behind such a robot is for research, education, and entertainment, and helps in promoting public discussion about AI ethics and the future of robotics. Companies like Hanson Robotics have been building human-like robots designed for emotive interactions and intelligent conversations with people. Adding to this, the artificial intelligence and speech recognition technology that the company has deployed into its machines and uses a patented material that closely resembles real human skin to create machines that genuinely look, speak, and act like humans. Next up, we have this robot, built with the latest technology and has been making the headlines for a while now. Yes, we are talking about the HRP-4C, which is commonly known as the meme. It is a feminine-looking humanoid robot that stands 158 centimeters tall and is about 43 kilograms in weight. She has a head and a face that looks quite realistic and original, and has the figure of an average young Japanese female. This robot is capable of moving about an area like a normal human being. She can make use of her 30 body motors and another 8 dedicated to facial expressions in order to do so. Apart from all these, Meme can also respond to your questions using speech recognition technology and is capable of recognizing ambient sounds too. This robot is capable of singing using the built-in vocal synthesizer Vocaloid. The institute that has designed and developed the robot is called the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, a Japanese research facility. However, the software that operates the robot is developed on the basis of an open robotics platform. Moving on, we have the Pepper robot. While people are still not able to read emotions of people, Pepper can read them. This robot is designed to recognize human faces and detect different types of human emotions, which enables it to make interactions with humans through artificially intelligent conversations, gestures, and its touch screen. It is a robot that is built with the thought of human-robot interaction and to evolve social bonds between the two beings. That is, if robots can be called beings. Manufactured by SoftBank Robotics, this semi-humanoid robot is developed in such a way that it can understand more than 15 languages, recognize which language the person is speaking, and also make intelligent interactions with the person being talked to. Unlike other robots, which are industry-specific and cannot be bought outside the country, Pepper can be bought by a normal human. That too, online. More than 3,000 companies have adopted their own Pepper to welcome and guide their visitors. 
Robots like Pepper are a sweet spot to impress visitors and investors. It has already made an impressive appearance in the open days of the School of Science, where it has been the spotlight of attraction in the computer science department. It was reported that the visitors were very impressed by the interactive capabilities of the robot mingled with light humor. The robot has already made its career by helping the undergraduate students in their final year project. Next up, we have Erika, one of the best robots created by Japan till date. Yes, you heard that right. Ever thought of a news anchor being a robot? Have the thought of getting the latest updates about the world from a robotic news anchor? Well, to your surprise, this has actually become true. Erika, a human-like robot created by Hiroshi Ishiguro from the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, is one of the most intelligent humanoid robots developed in Japan, once again. It is developed in such a way that she can easily interact with human beings and make changes to her facial expressions, according to the conversation being made. Even though she cannot walk, the robot can possibly make human-like conversations because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement whatsoever. She also has inbuilt face recognition technology and speech generating algorithms built in to track different faces in a room and also allow her to make various facial expressions accordingly. Currently, Erika has been working as a news anchor. Imagine watching early morning news and the presenter is a robot with special emphasis being given on her verbal capabilities while being developed. It seems Japan has done a great job. The developer thinks that the robot might have a real soul, but this seems quite debatable and also quite incomprehensible. And last but not least, we have Digit, a human-like robot designed and engineered to perform manual labor like picking up boxes from the shelves and chores like shifting the boxes, picking them up, loading them into the truck, etc. Made and developed by Agility from the Oregon State University, the robot is very slightly human-shaped, even though it has two arms, two legs, and can walk around. It is headless, has no hands, but it has the strength to carry heavy load and has knees that can bend back, unlike humans, and has great strength and durability, which allows it to carry out tasks autonomously without any hindrance. Digit costs $250,000 and is reported to reduce its cost further in the future. The robot has gotten quite famous, so much so that it can now be bought online for an obviously sky-high price. And that's all the robots that made it to our list for this week. Do you think robots can take over jobs from humans? Can robots be the reason behind future human unemployment? Can robots be another reason for the Great Depression? Stay tuned to our channel to get all your questions answered. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching the video, then make sure to hit the like button and make sure to comment below. Your comments are valuable and it helps us in staying motivated. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss another update on such amazing technological innovations. With that being said, let's meet on another video. Until then, see ya!